This is Paul, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the specificity, yeah, specificity, yes, mm -hmm. as to what constitutes a, a infliction of fear, mm -hmm. is lacking. Uh, the only guidance given is found under a separate statute, RCW uh, 10.99.20, yeah, which lists the crimes for which a police officer may make an arrest. Oh. Now, this Domestic Violence Protection Act, mm -hmm. let's say you arrested me for a crime you know I didn't commit because I provided the evidence that I wasn't in swim. Yes. You arrested me for a crime where I was found not guilty. Yes. You arrested me for the two-count criminal complaint when you had the evidence that I wasn't in Vernon and you had an actual copy of the email that I'd sent on or about June 16th of 2017. Mm-hmm. Now, this infliction of fear on the part of the court, yes. Are you wanting to make me afraid that when I go to a cell hearing, oops, that is an actual crime, the infliction of fear on those that are defendants. <laughs> now, there could be a lawsuit in that. <clears throat> when you refuse to acknowledge the gender neutrality <clears throat> of the uh, Washington State Protection Domestic Violence Protection Act, yes, and uh, this Domestic Violence Protection Act is being used to inflict fear on myself, yes, that you're going to have me admitted in a mental facility and administer psychotropic medication against my will, mm. where I'm going to be strapped down, coach, I'm going to have injections of various substances into my body, yes, yes. Yes. And some deranged psychiatrist is going to monitor mine. Now, you talk about being fear. Oh, the old, oh, oh, you could arrest somebody for fabricating a false police report. Yes. Filing a two count criminal complaint. Pow, 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 pow. Now, uh, does not require domestic violence to alleged to be an offense which will necessitate arrest. Uh huh. Allows anyone to allege domestic violence has occurred. Yes. Now, when it when it allows anyone, yeah. I mean, it says anyone. Po. Who was it in Brendan, Washington, that said I was there and I had committed the crime of domestic violence? <laughs> Then how is it that the Port Angeles Police Department could allow for me to experience 18 months of the fear <clears throat> of needing to be restored when they had the actual evidence I wasn't in Brennan, Washington? Now, I think the police are trying to inflict some fear today, <laughs> as in I should be very scared right now. Now, anyone... Mm -hmm, allows anyone mm -hmm, to allege domestic violence. Now, uh, who was it that you served after myself in Squim, Washington? Now, uh, the lack of detail and definition makes it evident that the judge has the discretion to determine mm -hmm, whether the alleged act meets the above definition in the required hearing. Oh. Well, if I wasn't in Squim, mm -hmm, how could I have inflicted any fear? <laughs> If I wasn't in Brennan, how did I inflict any fear? <laughs> this whole time right now, judges may share the prevailing uh, bias that heterosexual men are not abused at the hands of their wives. <laughs> now, I had documented that Heidi had hit me. Yeah, she'd struck me when we were on Guam. And I think that she did know that she committed domestic violence. Mm. Then there's the seven and a half years of maltreatment of my sons where she kept them in the wrong grade so that she could say they're doing so good in school. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I know it sounds somewhat effeminate for me to keep sending you emails for three years about... <clears throat> but I think obligating me to go to court does violate the very intent of the Domestic Violence Protection Act. Yes. That says that, well, as long as we allege the man committed battery, pooch, committed a violation of the no-contact order, mm -hmm, was cyber-stalking, that we can get him put in a mental institution. Now, let's call the Washington Administrative Code, Section 388.60, that tells the Department of Social and Health Services how it must contact mm -hmm, conduct the batter's treatment program. <laughs> Now, when never being arrested in the state of Washington, 
I never really committed any domestic violence. I did seven hours of parenting classes and diversion. Yeah, but this mental health evaluation. I want you to understand that today you're getting flowers, okay? <laughs> For all of those of the male gender that happen to have the legal or professional obligation for the enforcement of the laws, <laughs> I want you to think of me as that effeminate pooch, male citizen of the United States of America. <laughs> yes, I got to talk to you. <laughs>